This is so exciting. We are starting a new series where you are part of the podcast and we can't wait to hopefully someday have you in person or on Zoom live. But right now we're going to be answering questions or your experiences that you share with us uh, with submission through emails or a message. So yeah, anything you want to say? No, it's just great to have this community grow with yeah. your submissions and we get to be there for each other. Yes, and we learn so much from you. And so anything that you could bring to us or offer, it just expands all of us uh, to a much greater elevation. Yeah. Our natural living. So totally. We welcome you. Please send us your um experiences questions obstacles anything is fair we love um we love to hear from you yeah uh, you can send us an email at hello at shop toxy free or laura at shop toxy free or you can leave a mess leave your question below so yeah yeah, should we get started? Let's hit it. Okay. Oh, the other thing is you can submit anonymously. You can leave um, your name, your first name and initial. You can leave your, you can send a picture. You can do as much or as little as you want. So this, today, we are so excited for this question and experience um, from Laura in Germantown, Wisconsin. So Laura says, I love sewing mostly with 100% cotton, pillowcases, valances, quilted wall hangings. So I'm looking at organic fabric followed with info they offer using low impact dyes. I really want to try using the cleanest version. Any suggestions on a source? Well, first, I want to the cleanest version and low impact dyes. What are your um, opinions <laughs> on that? He is. He is an. <laughs> I have. I have my opinions, but <laughs> he is an Olympian right now in toxin free living. I'm like so impressed. Do you want to talk, like, even about your clothing? Well, yeah. I mean, the cleanest possible is uh, plant dyed. Um, that's just where it is. It reminds me of when I worked at this coffee shop a long time ago and it said lower fat or lower sugar, um, brownie or whatever it was. And I'm like, lower than what? And it makes me wonder to what constitutes low impact. What does that mean exactly? And what are you, um, holding it up against? And so if you really want to get down to it, um, I don't trust anything that unregulated terms like this is natural or this is low impact or anything like that. I just understand that uh, this is jargon that is being used to make me feel safe when um, that's not I'm not getting the full picture here. So plant died is the only thing that I understand to be, um, how was it put? The, um, cleanest. the cleanest version is plant dyed. Cause when you think about it, indigo, you grow indigo, especially if it's organic, if it's, um, sustainably farmed, um, regeneratively farmed, all of these practices that would be described is as clean as you can get. There is no, low or lower it's just boom ground level clean <laughs> what do you think well so there are i agree uh that is what we do in our home is really strict <laughs> with um plant dyed natural dyed combined with 
natural organic fibers and those two things together can be really difficult and rare to find and even when you find it I implore you encourage you to ask questions uh, it's the same as food so yeah. we really view everything that co we come into contact with so I was just talking about how our ecosystems are our, our most important ecosystems are our homes and our workplaces, which we have total, well, a lot of the time, mm -hmm. total control over. And those ecosystems are either making us sick or making us well. And when you think about uh, our skin um, absorbing 70, 60 to 70% 70 70, of yeah. what um, we touch, tap, rub, uh, the things get into our environment. So clothing has a lot of problems and clothing, sorry, and textiles. So Laura, for anything um, that you're looking for sewing and creating your own, that is such a valuable skill. I'm really jealous. <laughs> <laughs> we, ha we have... I could show you sometime, maybe with some B-roll, if Bezai can get to it, um, all of the bins that we have collected with these natural fibers to someday learn how to sew. <laughs> Bezad is really good at it. I need a lesson. So, but... Time is all that's missing in the ingredients. <laughs> but the... Um, so this is a tough thing to nego to navigate, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm not gonna lie here. It is it has taken a lot of uh, inventiveness, mm -hmm. um, creativity, uh, a lot of researching, searching for things. When I find something, I often like purchase a lot of it because yeah. I've watched companies come and go. Um, and so all of these textiles and our bedding and what we are immersed in uh, really should be nutritious as well because they are having an impact on our health. Yeah. And that Mayo study that I keep bringing up is 80% uh, of the current modern chronic diseases and ailments and one in six deaths worldwide are caused by the environmental toxins of our everyday items. Yeah. So um, this is, it, this will help you be so healthy and happy and everything is so beautiful. So all of the natural colors, everything just goes together. And so we thought we would share some of our our actual textiles and mm -hmm. strategies that we've had. Um, so with the sources, um, w there are a few out there and like Organic Cotton Plus is the first one that I thought of for you because it is a sewer's, a clean sewer um, treasure trove. It, it just has so many different fabrics and notions and tools and it even has color grown fabric which is very rare mm -hmm. so color grown fabric means that the the organic cotton has grown that color so it doesn't need any dyes at all and they are just beautiful um they're very <clears throat> they can come in these just beautiful um, kind of muted green Khaki, olive. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Bezad is wearing a color grown <laughs> right here. When he found, when we found this, I was like, buy 10 of these. <laughs> and he's like, no, I'm not buying 10 of these. But it's so rare because yeah. it even has this. So you can see the pinstripe on it. That's that is a really rare fabric. So anyway, back to orga organic cotton plus, they do have a lot of fabric that includes dyed fabric. So even though um, a lot of it is organic, 
you really have to read descriptions Mm -hmm. that I still to this day, I just scour. And because I have a lot of skill and experience with this, I pretty quickly can know for the first few years, I kept um, writing emails and asking specific questions. And what I learned was if someone is not putting it in the description, oh, I would say nine out of 10 times, probably higher, um, it's not going to be the answer that you're looking for. The artisans who are using hand-loomed, got certified organic fabric with traditionally done natural dyes from plants and flowers and insects, they talk about all of that. And they talk about the description and how long it takes to make this and exactly what went into the fabric and the color. And so if you don't see any of that in the description, uh, most likely it's not. Another, oh. Well, um, I wanted to add also, uh, sometimes they can't pay for that organic label, uh, but they do use organic practices. So if you know these people, um, personally, or if you know someone who knows them, because there are times when people, they are doing it legit, probably maybe even more organic than yes. organic uh, farmers. So also don't be stymied by that label organic. Um, be open to if someone, if you know how they're growing it and raising it and treating it, then or not treating it (laughs) (laughs) then you know that it's a it's a a trustworthy source and so i just want to put that out there that is such a great point thank you for bringing that up because it is like that for farmers too many small farmers we talk to talk about not being able to afford the Mm label you know even a usda certified label and they are going beyond uh, the even the certifications yeah. in regenerative farming practices. And so, yeah, yeah. yes, that's a great point. Um, <clears throat> so, but uh, what I was going to say, um, I believe, is that you can also, once you start getting used to the natural dye colors that are possible what i've learned too is that i can start questioning some really like bold strong solid colored things and i'm like i don't think that's plant dye no yeah because plant dyed is uh going it's going to have variations in it Mm -hmm. um with different shades uh, black is a very, very difficult color to create naturally. Yep. So, and black is a super common color in fabrics. Um, and so black always makes me question. So if, if it's naturally dyed, they will tell you, you know, mm-hmm. it was soaked in this with iron to in order to get the black color naturally. That's just what my experience has been. So it is a lot easier to. Um, oh, and I wanted to share another resource. M-A-I-W-A dot com. M-A-I-W-A dot com. That's another one that as a sewist, uh, you will just love and appreciate everything that they offer. They actually offer blanks. So it's undyed, untreated, and then they offer planned dyes there. And so then you could start experimenting with your own plant own plant dyeing. And just like the other one, they, they are exhaustive in st- in terms of um, tools and notions and threads and all the things that you would didn't even know that you would need for this. Yeah. One thing that is so inspiring to me is that you are making things yourself because what we have found is that that's a really great solution. Even 
me who ha doesn't have skills in making anything, including in the beginning, I didn't know how to prepare food for myself. Uh, so I had no, absolutely zero experience or skill with making anything. And I really loved textiles and that was something that I purchased a lot of. And so I just really had to start getting creative and I learned how to crochet and knit, but I always did it with a really specific purpose. Like I'm like, I'm a knitter out of necessity because I want to make this beautiful sweater <laughs> and I want to use this particular um, material. Whereas I'm a knitter out of, I'm not a knitter. <laughs> I am really bad at it. I've tried. <laughs> He can do everything. Except like, knitting. Yes. I know. It's so cute. I mean, he can literally do anything and everything except for knitting. Yeah. That's not my... I can darn, though. Yes. I can darn wool socks. Which is what we wanted to talk about, too, because getting these skills mm -hmm. has allowed us to become so sustainable. Yeah. Um, do you remember Sarah Danu when we interviewed her? Yeah. We're going to try to get her on a podcast soon because she is an amazing resource out there. Yeah. And she said, you can tell if a fabric or piece of clothing is sustainable based on, well, one of the ways is based on how much you use it. Mm -hmm. And we now use... use are everything i have a second hole oh. to plug <laughs> this is laura's favorite turtleneck yeah, i, I darned it. one elbow and now there's another elbow that needs <laughs> darning yes which i love doing oh, thank you so <laughs> the um so the other thing then is um i just thought i brought out a, a lot of different materials um, this one, there's also a resource called Life Giving Linen, and they have really amazing linen with really long descriptions. I've learned so much about different fabrics just by reading descriptions and asking questions, but um, all linen, because it's a natural fiber has different shades based on like rainfall and temperature and so it's it's just it's such a um wonderful learning experience to to start looking into different fabrics and textiles um so this is something that is a really high quality fabric that i'm saving <laughs> <laughs> For base on uh -oh. to make us something. This I want okay. to make a denim jacket. Yeah, this is incredible. <laughs> so another way that um, we've been inventive is when we find the company that is creating, uh, you know, plant dyed organic, which is rare. Uh, I just reached out to them and I asked them if they would be willing to sell me some of their indigo dyed organic denim which this is that and they said yes and so this uh is it is very very difficult to find indigo dyed denim even though that is how denim started it, but now it is if you can find something please let us know because it is all synthetic dyes, um, a lot of synthetic fibers, and that's what's really causing a lot of health havoc. So we have, like I said, bins of all of this. Another thing that is really cool um, that's been a byproduct of all of this, because our clothing is so hard to find and rare, we wear it until literally... I know! Still until there's holes in it. So Bezag could no longer wear these amazing but jeans, but- We know a place that can mend them. 
Yes, we might mend them or we can use this for, um, you know, a quilt or for some, but we're, it looks like we're going to mend this. We're mending them. <laughs> <laughs> These brought a lot of happiness. So the tag says 100% organic cotton hand loom denim. Naturally dyed plants, mineral and shellac derived. Nickel free buttons and rivets. Um, the, that's the kind of thing that you're looking for in all your fabrics. We have uh, organic silk that again ha is comes in different shades based on all of the environmental conditions um, and the type of silkworm. We have... Um, Is that canvas here? Yes. Canvas. So different weights of fabric can be really challenging to find as well. So I found this organic cotton canvas really heavy duty mm -hmm. that is just waiting to be made into something really useful and helpful. This is a different weighted one. Anything, any fabric that you come across that's organic and plant dyed and has a pattern, whew, that's even more <laughs> rare. Just really, really rare. And so this is one of those. And uh, I wore, no, this, I can't remember if this was a skirt or pants. But this is what's left of it, and we're going to find a use like for a that. Um, and so you can kind of start learning just in here about the different shades that nature can produce. Like all of this is plant dyed. Um, it's like an olive kind of brownish green. With... Rugby shirt. Yeah. Yes. See, this... So rugby shirt, so imagine like Charlie, or what, not Charlie, what no. was the Snoopy? You mean was, Charlie Brown? Yeah, Charlie Brown, didn't he have kind of But a, it was a zigzag, this oh, is a straight. this is a straight stripe. <laughs> <strike. laughs> yeah. But it, um, anything that has like some style like that, mm -hmm. these are all really rare. Yeah. Out there in the plant dyed. So all of these are really enduring, durable, long lasting, the real deal. Yeah. Um, so it's definitely worth looking for and purchasing. And then um, like the household items, this is what we always try to, and we, we're really doing our best to carry clothing as well um when we reach out to all these companies they are so small that they just tell us we can't handle wholesale yeah. so that's where we want to help you if um if and when and we're super excited when you're ready to make that because the clothing has really uh, brought us to a new level of happiness and health but like the household items have been a little bit easier for us. So it's very easy to find undyed organic cotton um, it, and just undyed and, organic yeah. like fabrics, like even organic hemp, things like that. However, uh, in the kitchen, that can be a problem. So like this hot pad um is the undyed like this but from all the use has now been stained but it and looks i think it looks beautiful i like it yeah i really do but if if that upsets you at all i still have not found a plant dyed uh oven mitt, oven mitt. Yeah. but if you want to make one we would we would be interested at toxi free and supporting you in your efforts now aprons so once we got these beautiful clothing that was plant dyed and organic it is more expensive and we don't have as many so we became really protective of it and the only apron i could find was undyed and it like after one use was just 
filthy with grease yeah. splatters and uh it just it didn't re- didn't remember work very well. that because yeah. yeah. we didn't want to put it on and anyway yeah. so we're so excited and we carry these at toxi free hand loomed organic cotton aprons that are plant dyed and we chose the dark colors they're beautiful we love putting them on they are even cute as an outfit um and so this there's no we use these all the time and you can't see anything it looks still new Mm -hmm. to me no stains uh towels towels are challenging uh very challenging our towels have become the most precious belonging (laughs) in our home we each have one and then we have one backup now this is organic linen that's color grown so this is the actual color of the linen and it it's just like regular towels it has the loops it's heavy and thick and it's just luxurious. Yeah. Every time, and I've reached out to this company, and we are trying to make these available to you through Toxi Free. Um, even just now to just purchase one like a consumer, they're sold out. Yeah. So I think COVID really was hard on that whole process. I remember reading in the description that it's um, European linen Linen. yeah and that's when i learned about the different seasonal colors because of the temperature and rainfall and the soil and all of that so um so yes we are constantly trying to do that we do have these at toxi free and these are organic cotton that are plant dyed so that's really great because it cuts down on the staining this to me this weight is really light it's perfect for wrapping my hair when i don't want my hair to get wet and then it's it's very generous for a body towel however we use it in the kitchen here um and it's kind of big but because it's plant dyed it's just a great one to hang and then we reach for it we have one at the store that we do that with as well. So if you need something, we do sell those at Toxi Free and it works great. It's just not as absorbent or uh, thick, thick as the linen. Heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Our bed is a masterpiece. <laughs> we have natural rubber mattress with all different types. We have color grown linen, organic linen sheets that are heirloom quality. We also have organic uh, silk sheets that are chemical free undyed. And we definitely always use the silk for our pillowcase because that is um, really a beauty secret of um, your skin and hair and everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's very gentle on your creasing your skin, Mm -hmm. um, making your skin healthier and your hair as well. We can get those sheet sets. They're very uh, different for price of what people would be used to, but we can definitely get those to you. Sometimes they're uh, unavailable, like back ordered, so it can take a few months just like all of these products. But I know we just spoke to them recently. We were able to get a king and a queen Mm -hmm. set. They only come in the sets. And we sell at Toxy Free, like even right now online, the pillowcases. Yep. And we can also get those king, but those would be a special order. You would just have to let us know. But silk has a really tight weave and it is, it is, Why don't you explain the silk, honey? It is so luxurious. (laughs) Well, yeah, with that tight weave, we take that with us. Like when we're traveling and we have to stay in a hotel or B&B, and we put that down to separate the bedding they have there from our 
bodies and we can smell like the bleach in there and stuff in these other places and we just don't want that and and some sheets have formaldehyde yeah which causes insomnia plus other health problems sorry yeah no um so that is one great aspect of it the other one like you were saying for the beauty the sleeping your face on the silk um it doesn't irritate like the oils and things like that it doesn't irritate the skin uh same with the hair which is more laura's department than mine because i don't have any hair except for on my face <laughs> but <laughs> he doesn't need it he's so cute <laughs> but like in the summertime it's so cool um it just is so light and um and it's even warm in the winter yeah all of these natural fibers are regulate heat so yes. well um but i mean it's just luxurious like you were saying it and having so that silk soft and light on top yeah. yeah yeah like oh my gosh we went to a hotel and we just had the silk sheet on top and we stayed mm-hmm. just realized yeah. we didn't get cold yes and so. it dries really quickly it's yeah. light it is easy doesn't weigh you down at all it right. really like is a comforting texture yeah as well uh so if you are willing <laughs> i can't recommend the organic silk enough oh and this is uh the silk if you can see this it's just beautiful and then we do have whenever we can get these things We carry them at Toxy Free. And uh, so we do have plant-dyed, hand-loomed, organic blankets. Mm -hmm. And we use these ourselves in the layers of our bed and bedding. And even on, like, as throws throughout our home here. And so this is just a really nice heavy weight that we use in uh, the winter months. And then this one is just really light. Mm -hmm. And look at that plant dyed. It's this deep eggplant purple with like pinkish highlights. Like that is so amazing. And they hand carve the blocks to block print this using flower material for the color. So, I mean, to get back to Laura's question, right? Anything, I mean, just as I was noticing with everything here, there is a artisan hand behind all of this. It isn't some big machine factory that you would find, um, like the block printing, just the gathering of the... um, the flowers or the plants or what have you, whatever was used for the dyeing. Um, Anything from walnut shells to, I mean, nature always has a way. The the best color palette is in nature. And it's just such an interesting thing. Um, But, you know, as we were talking and about just the care that was taken and put into each uh, thread is... That is the difference, I think, between low impact and the cleanest, because there is a direct connection to nature that I think we, well, I know we are losing over the years. I don't want to be like some kind of romantic and it was better back in blah, blah, blah. It's never been a more exciting time to live. But if you can hold on in this modern world to something that's truly um, from nature, from the hand of a human being, then uh, you are going to get so much more out of it than the price you paid. Um, yeah. It's just that much more special. It just, that, I mean, bar none. That's my stamp on it. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a great uh Thing that you brought to this discussion because it is true that uh, it it enhances your life, it mm-hmm. enhances your health, it enhances the environment in which you live visually. It is a beautiful object, a work of art, and you don't need very many. No. So it's it actually is 
designing your home with just a few of these different pieces all put together with the different textures and the different mm -hmm. um, sheens that are from nature and it's it's really magical and any of you who have actually walked into the toxi free store i believe that that's what you're experiencing mm -hmm. is all of the different nature that has come together in different forms yep. that makes it so unique and inspiring and uplifting and you just don't want to leave so um my gosh i hope this helps you laura laura had asked which i forgot to say what type of bedding do you use so we went over the, the sheets and, the yeah. um the buffalo blankets yeah. the buffalo the bath towels and kitchen towels we went over those and then the very last thing was what about area rugs including braided rugs which um bezad will be our grand finale <laughs> as he talks about our most special yoga mats that have been made this way for 4,000 years um, and we I just this morning saw a braided rug with some color grown organic that we're going to be um, I haven't even told you <laughs> told him yet but um, we're going to New York soon to meet with some business coaches and they have uh, their their studio in Brooklyn so I was oh. hoping that we could, you know, you did meet mention them. That, I yes, think. we yeah. just didn't get a chance to do that. So yeah. hopefully, fingers crossed, it's possible that we could bring these gorgeous braided rugs. Um, but yeah. braided rugs are something too that you could make out of your old clothing that's mm -hmm. plant dyed and organic, um, the scraps or the the materials that you find, or we have a yoga mat that Bezad is going to share. And we use this as bed coverings, um, as rugs throughout our home. Um, also as a yoga mat. Also as a <laughs> yoga mat. I use it as one. <laughs> yes. I do my push-ups on it in the morning. Um, so, honey. But, that. yeah. that. Well, what was the mat that we used at the, like, the markets and stuff? At the, that one that used to be out in the front door? What was that made the out of? Jute. jute. Jute is a great yes. mat. It's a beautiful uh, fabric, and um, it's just it's kind a really of, nice. This is that's jute um, too, jute. right? Yeah, yeah. And we have these all over, and we sell these at Toxy Free. It is. Um, it can be a placemat. It mm -hmm. can be a. Um, a doormat it could be a... uh no when you take a pan out of the oven and you set it on there oh a trivet a trivet yeah. thank you honey. you're welcome <laughs> yes. so we have those all over because we're always taking yeah. pans out an area uh rug and things like that yeah but i mean we talked about skins as well that's great for floors but going back to that yoga mat that uh, laura originally got this because it was so rare to find plant dyed organic cotton all in one thing and she didn't doesn't do yoga but she thought well this would be a great at least a floor mat so the amazing thing about this like you said is it a four thousand or five thousand year old four or four thousand yeah year old technique and so it's plant dyed from plants in the what unesco deems as the most perfect biosphere in the world in India and they use Ayurvedic herbs as well infused in there and so what you have and the backing is natural rubber so it doesn't uh, natural organic rubber so it doesn't slide all over, over the place and it's hand loomed organic cotton yes yes, yes hand lubed and it has little ribs on there as well for uh, traction while doing yoga both where the hands go in the feet. So it's just, it's really beautiful, the color on it. Also, because there is a pattern on it, it's very beautiful. And it just, when you're doing yoga on it, it gives off um, the, the heat of your body activates the herbs. So the benefits of the Ayurvedic herbs, you get that during your practice. And also um, the, it's, there are herbs in there that are antiseptic is it or antibacterial, antimicrobial? Yes. 
is. So you don't yes. have to clean it that much at all. Mm -hmm. I did have to clean it once. I think um, one of our puppies had an accident on it. And I did have to put it in the washing machine, <laughs> but, yeah, but it came out just, perfect. Yeah. yeah. And so um, other than you that. You just don't put it in the dryer. Right. No, you just hang dry it. And you don't. And don't do it in the it, sun. Yeah. The yeah. sun takes away the potency of the herbs. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, this yoga mat, and it's the size of your basic yoga mat. Um, I think like six feet by three feet, something like mm -hmm. that and so but it works we've had people come in and buy them just for that purpose as like a little tiny um runner on the on their ground some kind of little tiny rug so it looks beautiful and it works yeah. really well and you can also use it for doing yoga <laughs> yes just be creative yeah <laughs> This is such a privilege to have you with us on the podcast and we, we are going to get to more. Yeah, we do have more questions. If you're listening and it wasn't answered, it's because we were looking at them and we were both like, we can't do all of them in one session, in yes. one podcast. Yes. We want to give it the time everyone deserves. So this one was for you, Laura, and we are going to keep moving along we have a few more and we're just gonna do a series of these and, and keep sending them in yeah exactly as you, as you have a question because it is this question brought so much information valuable information to everyone so thank you so much we're so grateful that you uh sent us this question so i'm bezad I'm Laura. And we're so happy you joined us in our toxic free home. Mm -hmm. And yeah. We love you. Bye. Bye.